Changing Arkansas's stand your ground law still alive. A bill to loosen some restrictions failed in the House committee yesterday. And today, sponsors talked about using a rarely used procedure to extract it from committee and then send it to the full House. Well, they backed off that move this morning. We wanted to know what's next. We contacted our political expert, Roby Brock, from Talk Business and Politics. What happens next? We, we know that he's not going to pull it out of committee. What have you found out about the next step in this? Well, as we speak right now, um, it looks like Representative Pilkington has formed kind of a working committee of people who are uh, special interests who are interested in this bill, as well as legislators who want to find a way to support this bill. And they are meeting kind of as a ad hoc committee uh, to try to work out some language that will be palatable to those that are currently just sitting on the fence on the uh, re Republican or the conservative side of this. I think once they find that common ground, they'll have a majority of votes that they'll be able to get this bill out of the committee onto the floor. And I think it passes once it gets to the floor. This bill is not dead. No, nope. this bill uh, still has some life in it there. And, uh, and again, we see this all the time at the state legislature. A bill may fail in committee because something isn't, you know, vetted properly or there's just not enough, been enough time to process something or maybe there's a small change that needs to be made. Um, so this is not uncommon that you see a bill fail in committee. It gets reworked a little bit. It comes back to the committee and then it moves on. Does it lose its teeth? Does it still maintain what the sponsors wanted to do with this? Well, that's a great question, and I will be curious to see if they amend the bill and put some different language in there as to what they change. Right now, the really big hang-up for uh, Republicans that support this bill and Republicans that want to support this bill is a little bitty bit of language that says that you either have the right to be present with your gun or you can be lawfully present with your gun. These groups feel like there's a distinction between right to be there and lawfully present. And so I think they'll find something that they can all agree with. Roby, along with the bill sponsors, say they're still not sure when it will come back up for consideration in the House.